there's lots of ways to load data into R. The data function gives us access to data sets that are currently inside of R. Running it with no arguments lets us see all these data sets. We can pick one, put the name in quotes, and then it will load that data set to the global environment. But let's say we have a file we've created and we want to read in that file. Read.csv reads in comma separated values. We just put the name inside of quotes and we can read in that file, but it will just read it in. We usually want to save it to the global environment. So we'll use the left arrow right here and save it to an object like DF. Now we've saved our file into DF in the global environment. There's other options though, like read.table. Once again, we'll put the name inside of quotes for our file. We have header equals true right here because the first row contains the column names. Sep for the separating value between each of our values. Strings as factors equals false because we do not want the strings to come in as factors. And this will save our data in once again. There's many other options like read.xlsx to read Excel files. And last but not least, if we want to write our file, we can use write.csv, put in the name of what we want to write and the name we want to write it to. And now we've written our file and saved it outside of R.